Hello students. Today's topic of discussion is single phase half bridge voltage source inverter with RL load. The circuit diagram of half bridge inverter with RL load is shown here. It consists of two thyristors T1 and T2, two feedback diodes D1 and D2, RL load and supply voltage. Here supply voltage divides into two equal parts Vs by 2 and Vs by 2. RL load is connected between point A and point B. Point B is always considered as positive and the point A is considered as negative. If the current flow from point B to A. Then the current will be considered as positive. Similarly, if the current flow from point A to B, then the current will be considered as negative. With an inductive load, the output voltage waveform is similar to that with a resistive load. However, the load current cannot change immediately with the output voltage. Means, in case of RL load, the output current will be an exponential function of time and lacks the output voltage by an angle phi. The operation of half bridge inverter with the RL load is divided into four modes. Consider mode 1 that is T1 less than T less than T by 2. This interval T1 to T by 2. During this interval gate pulses are given to thyristor T1. Therefore the thyristor T1 is turned on at instant T1. And the current flows through the path Vs by 2 T1 load back to Vs by 2. So the output current I0 is positive. The output current I0 is positive. And voltage is also positive because B is positive with respect to A. Here in case of inductive load, inductor stores energy in the opposite direction of current flow. So here the load voltage is plus here and minus here. Therefore the inductor voltage is minus plus. So this is the polarity of inductor voltage during the interval T1 to T by 2. So during the interval T1 to T by 2, the output voltage is positive and equal to Vs by 2 and the output current increases gradually. At instant T by 2, the load current reaches peak value and the thyristor T1 is turned off at this instant. Here, due to the same polarity of output voltage and output current, the energy is stored by the load. Next we will discuss mode 2. Mode 2 that is T by 2 less than T less than T2. This interval. We know that inductor does not allow sudden change in current. Due to the inductive load, the load current direction will be maintained even after the thyristor T1 is turned off. Due to the self-induced voltage in the load VL, diode D2 becomes forward biased because here minus, here plus and 
the load current i0 flows through the path load vs diode d2 back to load therefore during this interval the energy stored in the load is fed back to the lower half of the source here we can see that this voltage this positive appear here and this negative appear here so here the voltage is minus vs by 2 so the voltage is minus vs by 2 and the load current is positive but gradually decreases at the instant t2 the load current reaches zero value means the energy stored in the inductor is dissipated therefore at the instant t2 the thyristor t2 is turned on therefore the current flows through the path vs by 2 load t2 back to vs by 2 that is opposite direction and here also the voltage is plus here minus here output voltage is minus vs by 2 next is mode 3 that is t2 less than t less than t at instant t2 the thyristor t2 is turned on and the current flows through the path Vs by 2 load T2 back to the source. So the current direction is this one from A to B. That is the current is negative. And here also this plus here and this minus here. So the output voltage is minus Vs by 2. Therefore during this interval the load current reaches a negative peak. Here the current flows from A to B and A is positive with respect to B. Therefore the inductor voltage is minus plus. Next is mode 4. That is this interval. This interval D1 is on. So this interval is same as that of this interval. So the mode 4 is 0 less than T less than T1. So during this interval firing pulses are given to T1. Firing pulses are given to T1. Therefore T2 is turned off. Here also due to the inductive load, the load current direction will be maintained even after the SCR T2 is turned off. Due to the self-induced voltage in the load, the diode D1 becomes forward biased and the load current flows through the upper half of the supply that is from load d1 vs vs by 2 back to the load in this mode the stored energy in the load is fed back to the upper half of the source during this interval this positive appear here and this negative appear here so the output voltage is plus vs by 2 and the load current decreases gradually from negative maximum to zero. So at T1 or at T3, the load current goes to zero and the thyristor T1 can be turned on again. And this cycle of operation repeats. Thank you.